during the Powerball last night? Well, the chance of winning something like one in 134 million, I'm guessing you're like me and you didn't. And so you're heading back into work today. So I'm back in the office now and I had intended to make this video uh, about uh, time and the compound value, uh, compound returns and, and all of that, but that's pretty boring. Uh, and got me thinking, it's, that's not really the problem. Um, if you're playing Tats Lotto, if you're playing Powerball, uh, in the hope of winning millions of dollars so you don't have to go to work, um, that's the issue. Uh, if you're not enjoying your job, do something about it. Now we've all got bills, we've got mortgages, we've all got kids fees and things that we need to pay. Um, so I can appreciate you might need to do something that might be a little bit boring for you to uh, earn some money to, to pay the bills, but that doesn't mean you can't start working on something on the side. Start building up something on the side that you really enjoy, that you're passionate about, um, over time that will flourish into something and then eventually you can quit the boring job to do something that you actually enjoy. Um, so next time if you do play Powerball and you do happen to win the $100 million, chances are that's just icing on the cake uh, and you'll actually keep working and doing something you enjoy. Uh, certainly I know if I won a whole lot of money playing Powerball, uh, I'd still show up to work. Um, I enjoy what I do uh, and to think of sitting at home with nothing to do for the next 30 or 40 or 50 years uh, actually scares me even if I did have a whole lot of money in the bank so um, yeah don't worry so much about the compounding the time value of money and what you're wasting on uh, the Powerball maybe worry about uh, why you're trying to win the money in the first place.